Hello, this is Ambient Flush. Today I'm gonna show you the basics of the pen tool. I will be showing you how you can make selection like this in the image, but first I'm gonna tell you the basics of the pen tool. So you click here the pen tool, the quick command is P. There is free from pen tool, add anchor point tool, delete anchor point, and convert point tool. First you click on the pen tool, then you select path. When you click these dots, they will start to connect them into the shape. If you want to add more anchor points, move the cursor middle of the path. And there is a plus sign, you can add more. Or if there is a minus sign, you can delete. If you hold down the control, you can drag the anchor points in whatever direction you want. If you hold down the alt, you can start to make other kind of curves into these anchor points. You can move by holding down the Alt key. And if you want to color some shapes, I'm going back to the square, not the total square, anyway. I have these anchor points here. And I will go here and click Solid Color. It automatically color the area between the anchor points in certain colors. If you want to make some curved shapes, click, hold on left mouse and start to drag the shape. And these long points there are showing where the next is going. And this is the common mistake many makes. One is to, going to be curved in a wrong direction. So I'm going to show you how you can fix this. You can hold here with the Alt key and drag it here. And when you start to now make new, it doesn't make that curve anymore. You can also hold here with the Alt key and you can turn the shapes and anchor points. And very handy tool if you want to use the pen tool, you drag and hold shift. The automatically makes 45 degrees if you want to make squares. Next I'm going to show you how you can make a selection with the pen tool from this character. You will remove the background and how you can add another background. And now I'm going to make this selection. This is speed it up. You want to use time, more time, and be accurate, you will get the better selection. And when you are about to do it finalize, you will connect all the anchor points together. Create the vector mask. There you go, click there and it automatically removes the back tool. Then you go and rasterize vector mask. If there is any leftovers from the background, you will select brass, black color and paint over this mask. If you want to bring something back, select white color and brush it and it will return. 
okay and if you want to make little adjustments and I will add now the background behind this character layer you can use whatever background you want you can make a selection for the background and just copy it behind the layer This is Ambient Flash, see you in the next video.